Hi all, this time another tutorial about CNC. We're gonna config our spindle here. This is the common one from Huan Yang. You can get it from 400 watts to 4 kilowatts. And here on the side is my recorder. And this is how to be connected. You will receive with the spindle here with the VFD. This is the converter for your voltage to the PVM that the spindle needs. This here on the side is the connection schematic from your spindle interface. And this here is our bob we like to use. Don't use the standard 1205, it's 12 out, 5 in, DB25, this here is the same, it's still 1205, but it has some nice features. First here, these connectors, these are uh, JST minus XH minus 3S. 3S stands for three uh, standard outs and power supply. S is supply, so it has four pins. Okay, but that's not the case here we're now talking about. We are going to talk about how to connect the spindle interface. As you see here, it has one relay on board that, that we will use for forward spindle, and it is connected on the other side to the DCM, that's the ground value of the uh, interface that has forward, reward, and some special ins and out for connecting it. But we only want to use forward and the ground responding to the forward. Why we have two lines and not one? There's a also ground here, ACM. I can get it a little bigger here, yes, ACM, this is also crowned, but we have to keep it different. This interface here is totally isolated to our outputs 5 volts and inputs 12 volts. So please keep it isolated and different, so one wire more. Also, there are VFDs out or spindles out that use here instead of ground. You see here the ground sign, uh, 24 volt plus. And if you connect it, then that way you will get a really nice fire walk. So the the bob here needs the 5 volt here to get the outputs running. It's PC ground 5 volt and PC. 5 volt it's uh, made for connecting to Raspberry or uh, Nano whatever Android you want to use. So the special here is it has a PVM to analog interface on board so it generates out of the PVM signal a 0 to 10 voltage. That's inputted here to the VE uh, that's virtual in or voltage in. You see here outside you have you can connect a, a potentiometer. So you can do it manual, but we would like to do it programmably inside our control. So here this pin it says here plus and here ground. I did the wire over the the signs. Here the crown goes to ICM and virtual in the input or the voltage input goes to plus of 0 to 10 volts. So this is the connection view, how to connect it. It's very easy. If you uh, use a standard 1205, you won't have these features. So it's 5 US dollar. Each, uh, if you have the, the standard one or use this one, don't use the blue one. The blue one will have a USB standard interface, so it won't connect to uh, the DB25. 
I recommend to use the green one with the one relay on it. So you have all on board you like you want to uh, to use. So let's start configuration. I always I have here the dash and I use the step conf wizard because it's easy to do. I start the configuration will show you how fast it is to configure. I don't use here create a desktop item. You can use it. I say here VFD underscore test. Always use non capital and don't use spaces. Here you can configure some external machines. I'll go for XYZ. I go for millimeter. Here's the driving speed. I use that for common. It will run. If you have other or know something better than here, you can go here to 2500, 2500, 500, uh, 5000, and 8000. Will also work uh, proper on the main machines you have. This is the chitter, the, the bad fault of your PC. I go here for 25,000. It's up to 100,000 will get you a good running machine. Forward. So now here's our pin configuration. The pin configuration is printed here on the board. You see clock for X uh, port 2 and direction port 3 and so on and here the relay is on pin 17 and all enable pins are on pin 14. So we have clock and clockwise here is clock it's in German sorry I didn't uh, run the English version. Uh, so if you have it the other line you can here preset so it will change to deer step but it's it has been already set so it's step direction here pin 2 step and direction clockwise so pin 1 is our PVM signal there we go it's spindle PVM we have to use pin 14 for enable the the motors enable the motors and pin 16 I use for the e-stop out to get the power onto the, the board itself that's the 48 volt I connect that via relay you don't have you don't need it but you can put it that way so there's a, a full power off if you hit e-stop Pin 17, as we see here, is our relay that says spindle forward. I use just spindle enable and that's it. I don't use now our inputs. That would be the switches. I just click it. You see you can uh, config whatever you want or you can also config uh, encoder to the spindle. So you got a spindle synchronized and can for later may maybe for rotation things go forward it's we're done here so let's include something i like to include here spindle display that's a side panel but you don't need it in the forward but you can do some a lot of extra see my videos i made Let's to go forward. This is now the configuration from the x-axis. Our stepper has the, the motor itself has 200 steps per revolution. We go micro stepping two, so we have 400 steps per revolution. We have a five millimeter ball screw, 1605 or 2005. So to get a better uh, information here, better uh, precision, I use a timing belt system 20. 25. This gives you an uh, eye uh, interception of one to one a quarter. So I have 100 steps per millimeter. This is nice. So we have 0 0.01 millimeter per step. 
This screw pitch, five millimeter, as I said, that's the ball screw. We go for uh, 40 and 120 millimeter. This is then uh, 2,400 millimeter per minute. It's here in seconds. And we have, I use normally four times, but it is 120 is a good input. This is a standard setup. This, uh, you can change it all the time by reloading, reconfigure your machine till it runs the perfect way you need. I go for the same on all axes. As uh, I set the timing belt system for the 120, I leave here the table travel as it is. Of course, I'm only configuring here a simulation machine. So you see here, 100, that's, uh, you have in the time to speed up, it's 0 0.3 seconds. You have to go 6 millimeter to get on full speed, and the pulses are 4, four kilohertz. If I step it up here, let's say 250, it will walk on 250. You have 3 millimeter for full speed. Okay, go forward to the next. It's uh, all about the spindle interface, so we like to go there. 20, 25, and 40, 120. Make notice here the table travel in set is opposite, so you have to put in the first line the minus and the second the positive number. So here we are. The PVM rate is listed on your VFD and is recommended to the spindle itself. Let's bring back, can I do it? Yes, let's bring back here. This is the spindle. This needs the PVM frequency to get the, the full speed and the speed divider. It is uh, a parameter here inside the VFD. You need to read the documentation on that. And now we have to come back here. Yes, there we are. And it's normally set to 400. This is written in red on your first page of the parameter. It is really important to have this number right. And now the speeds to get the interface to the link. It's 0 to 1 here. First is zero, zero, and it's normally running on 40, uh, 24,000 RPMs, and this is then one. So it's linear, but you can measure your uh, uh, RPMs with a meter or whatever, and can make here dividers. So it internally calculates a scale and makes you a better I would recommend to measurement at 7000 RPM and at 16000 RPM and this will, gi will give you then the best way to drive your spindle. So forward and we are done. Save it, yes. And now as I'm here on a simulation machine, I really can't run the machine itself. Of course the machine is real time. I need to run the simulation of it. I have here, uh, let's do axis, I go for axis 1, or is it here? My configurations, axis 1, I take the wood machine. Here is the wood machine. So we have, can, this is our pin 16, this is our pin 14 and now reference the machine it will drive to the switches it's virtual here so it uh, just goes to the machine and now you can start your spindle here you can also do MDI here the side panel is, is different I should have chosen the other machine I will show you you always, please close down always here through uh, file, close, not with the X for Windows users. I will show you that the machine is really there. 
we configured here let's do my configuration go down and there it is the machine is inside the box if I now start it it will not run because there's no real-time kernel on the system it will show an error let's run it here you see here there's now the error there's no real-time no real-time real-time has been removed pit I'll use a bin real-time app no real-time so I hope I could help you yeah I will go back to the schematic it's all important to have this connection on the side panel right only the bob with the one relay the green one will have these connections so use it and have a nice day it will work instantly if you get it right bye to the next time